Hey everyone, this is Austin Scher here with We Write About Music, and I am thrilled to have on again Mike Habhab. He has just released an all new track called I Belong to You, and I am super excited to talk to him all about it. Mike, I want to thank you so much for coming back on today. How are you doing? Thanks for having me again, and it's an honor. Uh, I'm doing okay. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It has actually been exactly two months to the day since we last spoke about your last single. So I am obviously really excited to talk to you about this one. As I said before we started recording is, this is part of an album. And so the focus is going on this, but the entire album is great. But I really love this song. Um, Actually, it's a music collection. A music collection, excuse me. Yeah, that's the title on there. (laughs) Right. Um, It says on there. So my, my first question for you is I would love to get a background on this song, on on what it means to you and what you wrote about it. Uh, well, I wrote about, uh, again, what a, from the first one when I first met you, you know, writing about how I feel about my wife. And uh, so, you know, uh, well, I was at work one day, you know, and I started writing this stuff down you know, while I was at work, you know, I just, uh, started writing this on my desk, you know, so I was thinking of the right words that I wanted to say to her, and, uh, originally, it was just a poem that I wanted, that I was writing to her, I wasn't thinking about doing a song at that time, it's just a poem, okay, that I wrote for her, and, uh, eventually, uh, I said, uh, you know, uh, once I started thinking about right, going to the studio, writing music, and then I was like, you know, maybe I can uh, go record this and uh, make it into a song. You know, it sounds beautiful. Sure. So it was about the wife, pretty much, and how I felt. And Nice. Yeah, that's, that's one thing that I really like about this song is that it doesn't feel like there are any hidden meanings. It's very straightforward. You're telling a story, and it just comes off really sincere and beautiful. I think that's why I like it so much is like, there's no, uh, there's no cutting corners, just, it is what it is. And it's just a really well, nice you. song. Um, thank and you. I, and, and I wanted to ask, I know that you have used a guest vocalist. Is this the same vocalist as the last song that we talked about? Yes. Zach Radcliffe. Nice. And so what is your relationship with him? Like, how did you ask, like, how do you know him? And how did you ask I, him to, you know, to get on the song? I know him through Chuck Alcazi and the owner okay. of the Primstown Studios. And he, you know, he told me what he, what Zach does and what he could do for me and uh, how the process will work, uh, you mm-hmm. know, with him. And uh, <clears throat> I was like, okay, it sounds like a plan, you know, and uh, he brought him to, you know, he he set up an interview with me and Zach and and uh you know I like the idea so nice yeah well I that's mean how his, it started. of course his voice sounds amazing and it really brings life to the words which I'm sure makes you happy at the end of the day yeah um and so did anything change like while making this song like working with Chuck uh that was actually one of my first songs I started off with. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, that was that was the first song we uh, started uh, recording and putting together. Uh, anything change? Like, uh, like, um, I guess, like in the creation of the song. I know that you said that this started out as basically a poem. Like, do all your songs start like that? Do they just start from these ideas and then you continue on the songwriting? Well, after that, the rest I started uh, uh, writing uh, lyrics to do, you know, the other the other sure. four songs that I made the, the strictly for that uh, yeah. that I wanted to, you know, do for uh singing at the pearl sound studio but the first one yeah okay. it was just a poem and then uh zach uh uh whatever he thought uh needed tweaking and changing uh he did that for me but the rest uh yeah i made the song and it was pretty much started off as a poem for my nice. wife 
and so the song I, I would say is very much like country rock. You know what I mean? As far as the genre goes, was that your idea for making it sound like that? Or did it just fit the best when actually making it? I, I told them what I like. I told them, uh, okay. I like rock and uh, I like, I do like country and that's the way you just pretty much, uh, uh, the way it worked out, you know, okay. and they, that, that's what, um, Zach said, it's like a country rock feel, uh, well, I'm glad it worked out that way. Totally. It's very upbeat. It's very vibrant. And it just, it's one of those songs that it makes you feel good. Like you listen to the words and it's so relatable for anyone that has like, you know, a partner like that. But the song and the way that it's structured just is like, it feels very happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 It's really great. Um, yeah. And uh, also besides talking about my feelings, you know, I, uh, mention in there that uh, Dana changed my life in ways, you know, and I say right. stupid things, you sure, know, on that sure. one. Yeah. So, uh, you know, she helped change, Dana helped change me for the better, you know. That's so amazing. I wanted to express that to her in the, in the lyrics. I'm sure she loves it. And I'm sure she's flattered having a song written about her. Uh, oh, yeah. I can she... only imagine. <laughs> I know <laughs> I would be. I would be flattered. Um, now, a lot of tears. Like, yeah, yeah, a lot of tears I'm sure of it. Uh, involved. <laughs> the, good, the good, the good kind of tears. The good kind. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like I said, it has been two months since we last spoke, and uh, before we started recording, you said that you're starting to work on new music. Do you have any idea of you know what it might be about, or if you want to keep going in the same genre, the same like country rock sound? Yeah, it'll be like a country rock, but I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> okay, no, that's I don't want to. I don't want to give any words out, but you don't have to. Don't I don't want to force you to, uh, to, you know, to say too much. But I would love to know, like, is there anything different that has inspired your writing, like any life experiences or personal situations that you're writing about? It's about personal, about my past still. Okay. That I talk about so got it cool yeah, I don't know how to, to make <laughs> I don't know how to make up you know just to say yeah, okay I want to make a dark uh you know a dark uh song or a love song uh yeah. just to think of words you know it has to <laughs> be life experience that's the only way I can create a lyrics you know i understand well i'm sure as you know there's so many artists out there that just make up fake situations and write about them but the the music doesn't feel genuine you know when you listen to it they're just making yeah. up stuff but again and i said it before and i'll keep saying it what makes your music feel so good is that you know it's coming from a real place and that these things actually happened as opposed yeah, to memories just... and from the heart Exactly. Instead of just writing words on a page and then sounding good at the end of the day, you know? And um, just trying to find the right words to flow to where it rhymes, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. It's it's tough being a songwriter because there's only so many original situations. Everyone can write a love song. Everyone can write a breakup song. But then you have, you know, these little personal memories that you bring to life. And that's what makes them really so special yeah totally um, <laughs> thank you you're welcome i i think we discussed this a little bit last time i'm not 100 percent sure but is there any possibility of playing these songs live of getting the people that were involved in making them and possibly getting a show together uh i hope so i okay don't know where to begin to get that going i can you know talk to the Zach uh, or uh, the owner of Pearl Sound Studio, Chuck, and yeah. see if he can give me some kind of direction how to get that going. And Yeah, that's the hardest that. part. That's the hardest yeah. part is finding people to play with you. But yeah. I mean, yeah, like there's so much talent featured on the instrumentation and obviously the vocals, but it's like these songs deserve to be played in front of an audience. I'd love to see them myself. I agree. And totally. uh, like I said, Chuck and Zach did their magic and uh, they played everything. 
it's just amazing how they uh totally they're like a machine a one-man band <laughs> seriously uh yeah. do you go to any concerts yourself uh when zach plays no 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 like have you like have you gone to oh. any concerts recently to like see any bands you like no i've been uh i've watched zach like uh perform uh like i said as church or uh he oh, okay. uh did that what do you um uh called the american uh idol country country music it was a country one um forgot the radio station that's okay well 104 some i think it was one of anyways uh it was a competition and they uh did it at a hotel in an arbor like in a what do you call it banquet room okay uh where everybody uh was competing to win first prize uh if you were the first prize winner and you be everybody in the singing competition you win a, for example a car uh if you're in first place or a trip to florida or you know something like that or yeah. you win a prize uh you know first contender winner or second third you know no oh, i totally understand yeah really i watched cool, him though. do that and i thought it was amazing he he uh, zach took first place in that one. Oh wow uh he won the car and uh you want a trip somewhere on a vacation trip somewhere. That's super uh, I cool. Where you yeah. Nice. Um, so it's you know we're almost at the end of the year here. I mean we're we're basically past summer. We're you know we're coming into the end. Are there any plans that you have for the next year? Maybe like goals that you'd like to hit, or just things that you're looking forward to. Uh, I'm gonna release my version of singing on uh spotify so i should be playing that soon maybe in the next month or two. Oh, cool in the fall maybe or winter i'm thinking so you get to hear me singing it uh nice. hopefully people uh that. hopefully people will like it i don't know <laughs> only but, time will tell you know yeah that's awesome anything else in the coming year that you know you'd like to see happen uh i'm gonna try and make a couple more videos to go with uh my version of the song uh so uh, and uh just working on uh new lyrics and maybe that'll be for next year yeah so, take your time with it like i said you can't rush art it takes time and you want it to be good and you also need yeah. to live live your life in order to experience things to write about them because then right. it, you, know, you don't want it to feel forced. Right. Nice. Then my son, uh, you know, the my son comes first and the family. Of course, so, of course. Uh, before my music, so uh, so I have to try I, to balance I completely that out. Completely understand. Yeah. <laughs> that can, um, so, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. I was gonna say I've got a couple more questions for you. Um, I want to know what have you been listening to in your personal time? Are there any artists that have come your way that you really enjoyed or just any songs that you could recommend people to check out? Oh yeah. The old school romantics. Nice. The romantics. Do you ever hear of them? Of course. Or used to listen to them in the eighties? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure my parents had them on in the car when yeah. I was growing up. But... Well, I, um, I love Mike skill and, uh, he plays the bass, uh, I think the bass guitar, electric guitar, and okay. he also sings too. And uh, uh, he goes to the same studio, recording studio that I go to at Pearl That's Sound awesome. Studio. That's awesome. I mean, yeah. Detroit is such an amazing place for music. So yeah, so I love nice. his music, and uh, and uh, it's kind of cool. It's uh, and intimidating same time because uh when i go the, to pearl sound studios and i think about all those uh famous artists that go to record there you know with chuck at studios and uh those uh you know famous artists have set foot right. in that so much on history that floor. yeah on that floor and uh 
yeah, it's intimidating. It's and it's cool at the same time. I'm like, wow, oh, I, I get to go to the same studio these uh, other famous artists go to. Totally, you know. it makes it feel very real. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not. And I get to see. Like uh, a, yeah. Go ahead. No, you you get I'm to sorry. see who. Uh, um, what I was saying is, uh, I get to see tons of pictures with Chuck and uh, these other. Fa- uh, famous artist that he's working with, and you right. know, I get to see tons of pictures on Facebook uh, on Chuck's page. You know, that makes every- sense. It- yeah, that's really cool. I I would love to visit one day. My uh, my mom is from Detroit, and so I have a lot of family that lives in the area. So I'd love to come and visit and do that whole music tour. One of make sure days. you visit me too. I would love of to see course, you. Of course, of course. You'd be the first person. You show me oh, all the best places you. to eat. I haven't been to Detroit in probably 10 or so years, but I remember I know the all food, the good spots. I remember the food being very good, I will say that. <laughs> so yeah. um I have one more question for you. Basically, the question is: is what message would you like to say to the person that's going to listen to your music for the first time? Uh, well, all my, uh, writings comes from the heart and, uh, real life experiences. And, uh, I'm sure you guys, uh, are going through the same things that I went through and, uh, we all have some in common and, uh, hopefully it hits home and, uh, home to your heart and, uh, hope you enjoy it and, and, uh, just don't give up on your dreams. There you go. That's a great message to give off. Uh, Mike, thank you so much again for your time. As always, a sincere pleasure of mine to get to speak with you and to hear all about your music. Please let me plug it for you one more time. The song is called I Belong to You, but there's so much more that's coming on the way. So stay tuned. We will have the links so that people can listen and share and follow along and do all that fun stuff. Uh, But again, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been an honor. Always, always. I hope to speak soon and uh, have an amazing rest of your day. You too. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.